Good morning, y'all boys. I've been team lift, but we have a beautiful day planned in store for you guys. I'm gonna be vlogging this whole day, but I will be going to hockey game. And as you can see in the title, you know where we're going. So stay tuned, boys. So I'm going to class, but I will catch y'all boys when it's time for Chris and me to get together because it's game day. And it goes a little yeah. something like Boys, I'm with Chris. We're on our way to Oxford, Ohio, about two hours and 20 minutes out. We will keep you updated. We are super excited, super hyped. Chris, Absolutely. how was your day? I think it was pretty good. It honestly went by super quick. I guess out of anticipation for this drive. I'm driving from Bowling Green, so I've already been on the road for a half hour. That's so awful. I just been laying in my dorm, waiting. Oh, so yes. we will catch you guys here probably we'll give you probably up to every hour so just stay tuned for that All right, guys, I lied. We were talking too much, and now we're 30 minutes out. Chris? That's what we get for being such great friends We talk too much. We, we are such wonderful friends. We are really wonderful friends. I love you, you know that? I love you too, kid. So, so, very hyped for this game. Miami sucks. North Dakota is pretty solid. Number two team in the country. Number two team in the country, that's right. Versus a team with a losing record. So They're actually... Miami's last in the conference. So this is going to be a not so great game. It's a big game for North Dakota though because if they sweep if they sweep Miami today and tomorrow they get uh, I think it's 3 points for a conference win so they get 6 points this weekend and they'll be even closer to first place in the country. Hey, shout out, shout out, which I think so, is probably going to happen tonight. But yes. Oh, yes. It'll be like our Western Michigan uh, BG game. Oh, but yes. More more dominant. We'll get to the pregame predictions when we get to the arena. Absolutely. See you guys when we get there. We are in Miami Redneck Territory. Oh, baby girl. All right, guys, we just made it to the parking deck that we're in, and then we're going to um, head to the stadium and do a little bit of exploring. So, yeah, we're just in Oxford. It's a really nice town. And there's really nice people here, it seems like. So uh, that's really about it. But we're gonna go to the stadium now, so stay tuned. What, what you wearing there, Chris? What you wearing? The official bench to Mike hoodie. They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. Oh my goodness, son. Oh my goodness. Uh, I wish you could go on each so website. Hey, sports fans. A little change of pace for the channel and the podcast here. We made it to Oxford, Ohio, where it is officially hockey night. And tonight we're going to be watching as the number two ranked team in the country, the North Dakota Fighting Hawks, take on the Miami Red Hawks. Welcome to the Goggin Ice Center. All right, guys, we're here. We're in the stadium. We we talked to people in the little we call it the we call that box. It's a box, yeah. um, and uh, their benches. Other benches. Yeah, we also got two game pucks. Chris called before and they said that they didn't have any. They don't give them out. But we went over there and asked them, and Chris and I got one. Last time I didn't get one, but we both got one this time. So super cool stuff. Shout out Miami for the great gesture and Thank the you kindness. So much to the Miami Hockey Association. Absolutely. Miami We're adding to our collection, boys. This is wonderful. This is great stuff. Recording in here. Boop, boop, boop.
Win that game puck. Win that Canes puck. Oh, you gotta. Let's see it. We, we do a podcast. We stand at the cane stand. We got us a cane's puck. We just got raising canes in Oxford, Ohio. The best raising canes in the area. Let's get it, let's get it. Alright guys, we're here, we're in our seats. Let's go get some food and try out the stadium food. I got the pulled pork, Chris got the hot dog, Chris how was the hot dog? Presentation, just like any other stadium hot dog, the taste. Really good. Really good taste. Absolutely. It was huge. Yeah. Like this this it was a big hot dog. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Was it worth the five dollars? No. Uh, in my opinion, if, it, if it's a five dollar hot dog, this thing better send me to heaven and back and gotcha. presentation of the pulled pork looks good. Probably won't taste good. I bet you it's dry. How's it taste? Not it. Score prediction time. You know, I love this arena. Uh, this is my second favorite arena that I've been to the college hockey. Absolutely amazing. Great fans, great people. Thank you, Miami, for the hockey talks for the guys. North Dakota is the number two team in the country. So I gotta go with the North Dakota Fighting Hawks 8 to 1. That was really what I was gonna guess. That's literally what I was gonna guess too, guys. So Stay tuned for this great game. Shout out for Chris commentary. It's like the battle of like conditioning. And the first period, Chris, what are your one, thoughts? One to one. I think Miami's keeping up really good. They're really taking it to North Dakota right now, but uh, that last 30 seconds killed them with that penalty because North Dakota scored right out of the gate with like I think 20 seconds left. So I think Miami, I think Miami start have to start out with about a minute and a half with the power play uh, start the second period. So we'll see. You gotta play good defense to start out next period, but they're, they're doing good. They're doing good. One thing I'm surprised about is you said that they're last in their conference, but they're not playing like last in the conference. No, they're not. They're, they're really getting up the number two team in the nation. That's crazy. Because you would think they're just gonna dominate, but they're not. Alright, stay tuned. Look at that shot though, look at this shot right here.
just said, have you ever seen like illegal college fights? And then not even two seconds after I said it, that happened. It would, that's hilarious. It should have played just for this clip, so. But stay tuned, guys. <laughs> off right now absolutely Miami's defense is insane and they just sneak up those offensive offensive attacks and just work Chris what are your thoughts I just I, I honestly think right now it's over Miami's I, the more physical team oh, they're shooting way more than North Dakota I, I, think it's over. I mean North Dakota is just on their heels they're on their heels they're getting pressed back Miami's making all the big hits too. Exactly. I mean, my, it, it is Miami's court right now, or ice rink. See what I did there? Ice rink? Alright, catch you guys. Where's the cheese? It's under the sauce. Never seen that before. It's almost like they, they put those two guys in front of the goalie to block his vision, you know? So it was like a, a, a well, they're there to great balance shots on the block so they can instead of put it back in almost like a basketball in the I got you. Come on, Miami. All right, Chris, end of the third period. It's 4-4. Four, four. North Dakota came back. I can't believe Miami sucks this bad, bro. They had it. They had it, bro. It was 4-2. It was 4-2. What I swear, there was like there was like eight minutes left, and it was 4-2. They blew it. They straight blew it. Bro, the goalie, you suck. You suck. We want you to pull this out. Please win. We do, we do want Please to win, win, but you suck. Please don't choke this away. Come on. You have this. You have this. All right. Stay tuned for overtime. Rub, you suck. Oh, I don't even go here. My heart hurts for them. That was good. That was such a good game. It was. They they stood toe to toe with the number two team in the country. I, I have mad respect for Miami. Our condolences from the bench to my podcast. Oh. All right, guys. Game's wrapped up. Overtime loss. Miami. Chris. I honestly think right now it's over. You're the hockey fan. Wrap it up for us, man. Oh, man. It, it, you know, Miami played such a good game. Uh, they, they outplayed North Dakota literally, literally until the last minute of the game. Miami won all – they won all 59 minutes, and they lost the last one. It just – it was exciting. It was awesome. The atmosphere was crazy. Sweet. My goodness, it was, it sweet. was just disappointing. Beautiful stadium, beautiful arena. Probably the best hockey arena, I'd say. Honestly, the yes. Mike podcast Worst food, to. though. Worst food. I'm going to give you that. The hot dog was pretty good I had. My poor pork was dry. 
Um, highlight, yeah. though. Yeah. Highlight. Thank you, Miami. Thank you, Miami, for, for the hockey puck. Hockey puck. Appreciate it. Thank you very really much. Love it. Uh, but condolences for the mention of my podcast. I mean, Great arena. Really. Absolutely beautiful. Everything's set up absolutely perfect. Love the architecture and the bricks. I agree. Beautiful campus. Just the game itself. Oh, my goodness. A heartbreaker. A heartbreaker. We're, we're, we are sorry. The Red Hawk fans, man. We are sorry. We are very yeah. sorry. But at the very least, you guys gave us an experience. We'll never forget. And thank you so much for that. Absolutely. And for being my fourth game, I loved it. it was, it's Dude, been the best game he's been to. Absolutely. And to see a top team in the nation suck and then come back and win yeah. it, wonderful. So, And we don't have any ties to either team. It was just what a great game. Yeah. What a great what, game. What a great game. Can't wait for more. Absolutely. Well, more coming real soon, guys. Uh, but we will sign off here for the podcast, for the vlog. Um, we might start doing the podcast and hockey games. What do you think about that, Chris? I like that idea. You know, we'll see where – We'll see what the Lord shows us in the future. We'll Absolutely. See what happens. I love that. Stay tuned. We're also thinking about, here's a little surprise uh, announcement. We are think we are in the works with possibly going to the conference tournament games for the college hockey Absolutely. in March. Absolutely. Stay tuned. We're Super looking excited. at either NCHA or, or, excuse me, NCHC or the Big Ten, depending on who's close. But stay tuned for that. We're looking forward to that. Very exciting stuff, guys. But we will sign off here. Chris, any final words? Uh, Miami hockey, heck of an experience, one that I will forever remember. And thank you guys for the gratitude you showed the Bench of Mike podcast. And for that, thank you. Absolutely. We were forever grateful. I agree. Uh, don't forget to follow the Instagram at bench underscore two underscore Mike on Instagram. Please check us out where you can find live updates when we're actually at the game. We will catch you all, boys, in the next one. Peace. Have a good night.